be a more romantic backdrop than the Taj Mahal to profess a lifetime of love and passion to your new bride? In the historic city of Agra, Vasant Nath, filmmaker and scriptwriter, arrived with friends and family from all over the world to fetch his bride, Vani Kapoor. The youngest and the most artistically inclined of the three Nath brothers, Vasant was fed up of the dating scene in Bombay, till he was introduced to Vani. It was one of those things, they just clicked. Friends and family gave us their points of view on the happy couple and along the way, burst a few bubbles. Shops every week, every weekend, Vasant, like every weekend. And she's coming to your house with some 20 suitcases, and I don't know where you're going to fit them. And I'm bringing some of them before you leave for New York. And she shops every weekend. Was, uh, was, was, um, I was a very chubby kid who always, who loves something called the G.I. Joes. G.I. Joes was pride and passion. I think he still has his collection stashed away somewhere. So I think Vani and him are going to be playing a lot with that. <laughs> with guns and with men in armoured suits. Quirks and kinks apart, the two-day-long festivities were a perfect blend of Indian tradition and modern norms and began with an engagement ceremony. enthusiasm with which guests participated in Vasant and Vani's wedding celebration speaks volumes. Yeah, I think they make a fabulous couple and, uh, you know, they look adorable together. So we just like to wish them all the luck and with their married life in Bombay together. And we just hope that them shifting to Bombay still makes us see enough of them. I don't know, Vasant was a brat. Uh, I spent a lot of time with him. I had a hard time taking care of him because Uday and Sumit were in, uh, in school, in doing school, and it always used to be in Panipat. So, I don't know, my earliest memory is this little brat who used to be a difficult child. Can't imagine he's getting married. Yeah, Vani is really particular and she's like really loving and affectionate. So I think she's going to make a fab wife. I'm too, you know, if you ask me this tomorrow, I'll probably be able to tell you this answer straight up. Vasan's fantastic. And you know what? Vani has a fantastic energy about her. I don't know the girl, but she seems great. And I'm so happy that the two of them are ending up together. It's, it's wonderful. 
Now that the ritual bit was over, it was time for the party to begin, which it did with the hugely talented saxophone sisters from Chennai, specially flown down to play for Vasant and Vani's Prem Kahani. The Carnatic style music played on a foreign instrument struck a tender note and the right tone for an evening of fun and frolic. Guests recall their first experience of an Indian wedding. I think we were just overwhelmed with everything that we've seen and experienced because it's it's our first time at the wedding and um, what we've seen in the movies uh, was just a movie and now it's real life and we are part of it. In India, they say when a boy and girl marry, it's actually two families marrying each other. The Nats and Kapoors seem appropriately matched considering how much both sides love to dance. This, ladies and gentlemen, was the performance of the evening. Incidentally, Uday Nath spent barely two hours rehearsing with the dance master G. Imagine what he could do if he took this up seriously. Karan and Samir too seem to be born performers. side of the family was not about to be outdone. With these gentlemen putting up an equally spirited performance, accompanied by the ladies in Vani's family.
However, the award goes to little Tara who rehearsed for a month to dance at Vasan Chacha's wedding. Another award, ladies and gentlemen, for Vani's niece and nephew for their amazing choreographed moves carried out like young professionals. Time for the real revelry to begin. Cha 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 chis, mama, mommies, daddies, and nannies. Let's hit the floor. of the world because I have been waiting for this day for a long time and finally he has found a girl who is in every way very supportive of him and they both of them together complete each other's personality. Sumeri hari 
Vasant and Vani's glamorous bhabhis, Nithi and Mandira, had a few family anecdotes to share with Vani and provide an insight into Vasant's personality. Something about Vasant we'd like to warn Vani about. He's very sensitive, okay? So don't make him cry. <laughs> and with Sumit, does very often, very successfully. Then, what is the other thing? Basically, that only I think. Yeah. Don't be mean and nasty to him, like the way Sumit can be at times. That's all. Otherwise, he's a really sweet guy. And he adores her, he totally adores Vani. Vani, you have him wrapped around your finger already. So make full use of it. Totally. Well, he drafted the little poem which Sumit used when he uh, proposed to Mandy. But nobody knows this. Sumit always wants it to be uh, his claim to fame that he wrote it for Mandy, but it was actually Vasant who did it. I didn't know that. Day two of Vasant and Vani's Prem Kahani began with the Haldi ceremony, where a mix of turmeric, sandalwood, and rose water was applied liberally on Vasant to add a sparkling glow to his complexion. Vasant's aunts, his mother's friends from her college days, and his boss had some interesting observations to make about him. This is something he wouldn't like to have on, on record, perhaps, but he used to be called Tingu. And he didn't mind being called Tingu till he was about four or five. And then there was one occasion when he got terribly upset when he was being called Tingu, and that, that was since then. He was wazi on some ex occasions, but generally Vasant. Uh, Vasant is, continues to assist me, and uh, he is... Uh, amazing strength and I have a lot of learning from Basant. Okay, it's not just that uh, I'm getting or say he is doing something which I, uh, you know, creatively use in the film, but I think uh, in the process I continue to learn from Basant too. Yeah, I, I gave him his first lap. <laughs> so Vani doesn't know that. And that's why she's still so pally with me. <laughs> when he was small, he looked like a little, pretty little girl. And he was also dressed sometimes like a little girl. <laughs> That's what I remember. Otherwise, he was one of the kind of uh, you know, leaders in Doon school. He was very good in sports. He was very good in his studies. And he's the artistic one in the family. <laughs> Heartbreakingly beautiful folk songs, thousands of years old, sung by Vasant's relatives and friends, were simply inspiring. Contemplative, earthy and mellow, the atmosphere of hope was all-pervasive. The groom finally spoke about what he thinks Vani saw in him, prompted by childhood buddy, Angad. I think, I, I think Vani got drawn towards me because I drank Earl Grey tea. She was really surprised that I ordered Earl Grey tea when we met. And she thought that uh, I'm some kind of sophisticated jerk. And then when she found that she could actually talk to me and that I could talk to her, I mean, then after that, it was all cool. And the moment finally arrives 
After the Serabandi, and once the Baratis had fortified themselves with enough alcohol, they began the trek. Dancing energetically all the way to the bride's home. They were greeted at the entrance by Vani's family for the Milni. Stress is such. I've enjoyed getting ready and all. In the morning, <laughs> in the morning when the chura was going on, I was a little stressed. But since then, I've been pretty fine, pretty chill. Looking forward to the whole thing. The bride emerged an hour late, but the wait was well worth it. Having all the friends together was a great uh, feeling and uh, such occasions uh, a few in life and uh, we will cherish the memories for a long time. Gujurit Swaha. 